sit up here. Well, how's it going, everybody? It is your boy, Gringo Flats, here with something special. I know I've been gone for a while. For some reason, I always take a sabbatical in November. Now I'm thinking it's probably because I always work on the Christmas album this month, and I've really been grinding, and it's been going really far. I've got all of the music completely done. All of the instrumentation is done. I'm not touching any more of it. Now I just need, and I got the visuals done, too, for the video and stuff like that the visual portion of the album like the album cover and this year i'm doing it because last year it's kind of weird it's just all black throughout the video and like there's a few pictures of the thumbnail throughout i've now actually edited the original christmas album given it the true album cover that was on uh instagram i've now put that on there and i have the new one ready but also i've made a slide for each song but uh, yeah, the Christmas album's going really well, and I just need to do vocals. Not every song has vocals, just like last year, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm, I'm having a new method of uh, doing it. But that's not what this is. I just really wanted to record something today. Uh, I'm going to be recording uh, more Pokemon later tonight. I, cause I'm kind of putting a hold on St. Throw because the last few videos haven't been doing so well. I know that the new Pokemon is real buggy, but also, like a lot of people see, I see a lot of potential in it. I'm I'm... From what I've played, I've done my own little separate side thing on my other account. I have I really do think it has good potential. I still think it's a fun game, but it does have some noticeable flaws. But Nintendo even came out and said, I'm sure many of you watch Moist Critical's video, uh, videos, but that video specifically, at least Nintendo came out in knowledge, and I know they've been in a little bit of controversy recently due to certain things things related to Super Smash Brothers, but that's not what I'm worrying about. Today I wanted to do a tier list about, as y'all know, and y'all have seen, my favorite video game series, okay? The Legend of Zelda, okay? This is a tier list. I think I actually made this one because I think it says created by Ringo Flats. Yes, it does. Uh, I don't, I don't even, didn't even know I had a Twitter. I might, sorry, <laughs> post it on there, but uh, I need to update to the new logo, but this is one I've created. You see, I've got a lot of tiers. Uh, I've played a lot of these games. Most of these games I've played. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through and we're going to talk about all of them. I'm going to try to go in chronological order. I don't know if these are in. I don't think they are in chronological order down here. So, first off, let me just pull up a list. So I, I make sure I stay in order. Okay. But I know where we can start. We can start with the first one. Now, the first one I have played. I have beat before. One of the most difficult things I've done, okay? This says the only thing more difficult is this game right here, which I beat, but I, I had to beat with <laughs> cheats on it, like Infinite Lives. I, one of my uh, jailbroken homebrew DSs, yeah, which no longer works because I updated it wrong. But I've never been able to beat this on, so I'm, I'm not super good at 2D games. This one, though, I have beat, okay? The first Legend of Zelda. I understand it. It's a great game. I'm still... I wouldn't even say I'm not a huge fan, because I do love the styling of the first one. It's a great starting point, okay? But it, it was one of the most difficult games I've beaten in my life. I probably... I don't know if I'd ever even play it for this channel, okay? Maybe I will one day, but it's 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 fun. I get it, you know? It's great. I'm not going to put it at Legendary and Amazing. I understand that's where it started, but you know, not everyone starts off on their best, you know, with their best thing, you know? I mean, some of my favorite bands, Kiss, their first album, great. One of my favorite albums that they've done, but it's not their best work. It didn't it didn't shoot them up the stardom right when it came out. Same thing, Aerosmith's first album. Yeah, it's got Dream On, but it didn't become a bigger hit till later, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't always release gold first, you know? Sometimes, well... Sometimes you do release gold first, but sometimes you don't release platinum first. So I'm putting this one at great, okay? Not too much more to say about it. Um, I assume the next game is uh, is the second one, Legend of Zelda 2. I'm going to put this one at great, but not my thing, okay? Now hear me out. Like I said, it's notoriously difficult. I like it. There are some people that don't like that it does the side-scrolling thing and stuff like that, okay? I think it's quirky, okay, but it gets a little old quick, you know what I'm saying? And it's so frustrating, it's almost not fun. I know there's like all the little tricks to beat Shadow Link at the end, you know, you hide in the corner, okay? 
but it was hard doing it with uh, with unlimited lives, okay? So that's where I'm putting that one. Um, actually, you know what? First, I'm going to get some of these out of the way that I, I, uh, I'm going to get all the CDI games out of the way. Uh, let's see. I did put them on here. I do think so. Yeah. Cause there's Zelda's adventure. Never played it. I know it's terrible, but I'm just going to put them. I'm just going to put them in the never played. You know what? We know they're terrible, even though I've never played them. I, they deserve to be there. Cause there's, th there's some games I never played that I know are good that deserve to be down. Or yeah, the, I know understand are good. I deserve to be down here. And there's some of these I'm gonna put in the never played that I actually have like picked up and played. But I've I can barely remember doing it, or I was like just playing it on like my friend's DS or something like that. So there's that one. Uh, there you are, bud. Oh, we can put a week. Uh, that's the third one, right? Yeah. Or no, technically that's the third one. I think it goes that one, that one, that one. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, we 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 know they're terrible. Okay. So we got those out of the way. And then there's a link to the past. Link to the past. Gorgeous game. I still can't believe it's a game that came out in what 1991. It's over 30 years old now. Okay. This one is kind of in between these lines to me. I it's I definitely didn't struggle with it as much as this one, but it's still a difficult game in a lot of areas. But that's not a bad thing. It's got the right amount of difficulty. Okay, I really like. It. I'm gonna put it in amazing. It's definitely my favorite. Mm. I don't know if I'll say if it's my it's my favorite 2D one because I don't know if it considered Link's Awakening 2D or not. Then the new version because I have beat that before. I'd kind of consider that a 2D. So, I'll say this is my favorite, like, pixel 2D Zelda game. I do enjoy A Link to the Past. It's a very fun game, okay? It introduced, the first game introduced the Master Sword, okay? Uh, Ganon still looks like a pig, which is cool, although I do prefer his Gerudo form, but it's still cool. Um... It's in the th these three games are in the weird timeline though. I'm pretty sure, aren't they? This is in the hero failed timeline. I do believe it goes this one, this one, this one, but I might not be that. That might not be true. I don't know. Uh, that's enough time. Original Link's Awakening. Uh, where are you? There you are. Gonna be honest. Well, no, I guess I have. I can't, I can't read some of these. Uh, I've got good vision, too. Open image in new tab. Will this help me out? Okay, this is Link's Awakening. I can't tell what this one is, though. Link Awakening DX includes new secret dungeon. We'll get to that one. I don't know what that one is. I, I well, actually, no. I think this is the only one I have played. I don't think I've played the original. I'm going to put that in Never Played. I've never played the original Link's Awakening. Or at least the original original. I have played this one, but we'll get to that one because it's after. I only... I Obviously, I know the story of this game, but I only know it from the 2017... 2019? Yeah, 2019 remake. So, that's where that one's going. I don't have a lot to say about that one. Now, here's one of my... Y'all know. Ocarina of Time. You know, as I play it in Wind Waker more, I think Wind Waker will always still be my favorite. But Ocarina of Time always just keeps creeping closer and closer. Every time I play it, I forget how much I love this game. Okay. I've already beat it once again since the remake. Okay. I beat it on the Switch on the N64 emulator that's on the Switch. Just a lovely game. Okay. Uh, the story. I want to go into a little bit more detail on some of these games. The story. I mean, it's just... It's the first, it's the game that splits the timeline, which is kind of cool. Okay, it's the first time we see the 3D Master Sword. It puts forward, in my opinion, which the this game, A Link to the Past, also kind of has the structure, like, oh, dungeon, dungeon. Well, I mean, I guess all of them kind of had the structure, but this, this one just felt different. I don't know why. It definitely does just feel like a kind of like a 3D version of this game. 
Okay? Where this feels like a much more advanced version of this game. But I do love the story. I love the lore in this game. It's got some of my favorite boss battles. Um, even though some people say it looks like poo poo, I think it looks great. Uh, I well, I mean, I understand where people's complaints come. I think I've already talked about this, but I just think it looks fine. You know what I'm saying? Like it for the time, it looks just as good or better than some other games released for other consoles at the time. Okay. And it still can. It, I'm always surprised how much it still can. How well it controls. Although I still have to say I've never played it on the N64. I know, I know. I've never. I even though I have an N64, I don't want to pay that much for a cartridge right now. I will eventually. But uh, I've only played on the GameCube, Switch, and DS. Which the DS is this whole other game, but you can see is down here. So we'll get to that. But, uh, yeah, it's a, a lot of great character designs. Just, just, a, just a well-rounded game, man. So now we have Link's Awakening DX. I have played this. Okay, I'm gonna put it at meh. Okay, nothing super against it. Okay, I've never, I didn't get super far in it. Okay, I think I played an emulator uh, on my iPhone years ago years ago it's fun i get it will i probably ever pick it up again no not when the remake exists so it's gonna go in the mat there's not much more to say because i want to get to what i'm gonna say about link's awakening with the remake so next is majora's mask now controversially i do understand that it is a masterpiece okay but it's not my type of masterpiece i'm putting it at amazing i that's gonna make some people pissed off at me i get it okay i understand do i think it's fun yes does it frustrate me at least the n64 version which i've played on gamecube does it frustrate me and now the switch because it's on there too but does it frustrate me to the point where i have to turn the console off and go just sit down and do something else to get my mind off it because it pisses me off before I have to go back and turn the console back on to see if I can beat it again to get more pissed off and go away. Okay, Yeah, it does that to me every single time I play it. There's some dungeons that are so frustrating they're almost not fun, like the, the water dungeon. Now, I'm not, like, some people complain about the time limit, like Angry Video Game Nerd and stuff like that, which I can understand that complaint. I think those things are cool. I think that makes the game cool. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely one of the most heart racing Zelda games, and it does take some. So like for me, I have because I want. I always try when I play it to get all the masks because I want the fierce deity mask because that makes beating Majora or Skull Kid with Majora's mask. There's like three boss fights at the end that you have to face. It it makes it a lot easier. Which, it's not a terrible fight if you get to the uh, the really good sword. The one that you have to get the razor sword. And then I can't remember what it's called. But you have to go get the gold dust. You have to go win the stupid Goron race. But it, it has some frustrating moments. But I, I, I love it. It's a great game. I don't like it as much as Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry, I don't. Does it look a little bit better, the original version? Yeah, just a little bit. They definitely updated the graphics. Link looks a little bit better in this game. You could tell it's the same character. But it look, they updated his hair a little bit and stuff. Someone is going fast outside of my house. But, uh, yeah, I mean, not much more to say. I do like how creepy it is. Uh, it's a really depressing story. It does make me sad, especially because, and there's going to be spoilers in this list. I'm just letting out a spoiler alert right now. It does kind of still shock me. And I like it. Like, I don't have a problem with it. But the fact that I... I mean, you, I guess you win in the end because you help Skull Kid out, but you still, you didn't complete your, you know, your quest of uh, finding Navi. You keep, you just continue on your journey, and it's sad to think that you left all of your friends and stuff back in Hyrule after you, I mean, and just for some reason it feels like you're playing as a, even though you're a kid again, you're playing as such a more mature version of the child Link that's in this game, because it's the same character, but this is now after he got sent back in time by Zelda. I have to imagine he still has all the memories that he had from being a 17-year-old. All the horrors and stuff he saw. You know, his friends 
get turned into sages and you know not be able to live anymore although i guess they'd be okay back in the olden times but then it gets even sadder we'll get to that when we get to twilight princess wherever you are down here she's somewhere down here uh but yeah man great game uh next is oracle of ages and oracle of seasons i own these games i own them on my ds i will play them I have not ever touched them i know the plots of them i know that if you play both of them you can f it's i know they're a sequel to this one and this one some people say this is like in between uh a link to the past but i i do believe that it is supposed to be a sequel to link's awakening because you fight like a weird zombie ganon at the end i'm gonna put it in the never played i've heard they're really fun okay i'm looking forward to playing them now okay uh, like I don't have much to say about that. Four Swords, which I think is included on this game right here. I've never played the Game Boy Advance version of uh, A Link to the Past. I'm sure I'd love it. It looks cool, and it includes the Four Swords. I've seen footage of the Four Swords. It looks fun. Okay. Uh, what's next? Yeah, I don't have much to say. The Wind Waker. Y'all know my favorite. Automatically going to Legendary. Although, you know what? Actually, though reevaluating after playing the originals in the HD. I'm going to put the original at amazing, okay? Only because the HD improves on it so much that I, I feel weird putting them both in the top spot, okay? Uh, but yeah, amazing. My favorite game, but really my favorite is the HD version. So uh, I'll, I'll go on my big spiel when I get to that, but just know that's my baby right there. So after four swords or after the wind waker we've got four swords adventures i own this game i have played it maybe a decade ago um from what i've seen it looks fun but when i played it i do, i won't know if i'd put it in meh but i might i might put it in great but not my thing i don't know i really didn't have fun with it and i played it but i was also so young that I might not have fully understood. Like I remember that when I was really young, uh, that I had a disc, the disc that I played on this channel, Ocarina of Time. I got that when I was like maybe nine or ten. The DS di or the GameCube disc that has this, 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 and this. And I really didn't like Ocarina of Time the first time I tried to play it. But now, obviously, it's one of my favorite games of all time. So, but I'm gonna put it in Mech because that's how I remember it. It probably also would have been more fun me playing with more people because it's fun that you oh you can plug off four controllers in, but I, I didn't I didn't play it that way so that's all I have to say about that one. Uh, the Minish Cap, another game I own it now. No no do I own no I don't own Minish Cap on anything. I need to I have a Game Boy Advance SP so I can play it one day. Uh, I just need to buy it. Never played it before. It looks really cool too. Just like Oracle of Ages and Seasons. I like the way it looks. That's all I really have to say. About it. it definitely it looks really good. I've heard everyone loves the Zelda from this universe. Like the character herself. It's cool because it's a different enemy. You fight Vati. Something like that. Big evil eye looking thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, Twilight Princess, the original one. Have played it. Never beat the original Twilight Princess. Am I grabbing the right one? Because there's also Twilight Princess HD. I don't want to grab the HD one just yet. Let me check and see. I think it's Skyward Sword right there. Those are both Skyward Sword. I need one of these. Inspect. Open image and new tab. Okay, that one's HD. Okay. I'll, I could talk a little bit on this one. It's just kind of like Wind Waker. I remember my experience playing it on the Wii, which the Wii version's weird because it flips the map. I remember having fun with it, but I also remember playing it around the time I first started trying to play Wind Waker, and I didn't enjoy it as much. It was a little bit scary to me. Okay, definitely the darkest Zelda game. Well, some dude made a video talking about how like every Zelda game is the darkest Zelda game, but visually, it is the darkest Zelda game. I would say that just the darkest like plot is probably this one. It's probably for me at least Breath of the Wild, but we'll get to that. Uh, 
but yeah, I I would put I would put the original great. I remember having really fun swinging the Wii remote around, but I also remember getting bored with it. Hence the reason I probably didn't finish it. Because when I first played it, now I know we owned it when it first came out in two thousand six, but I probably didn't play it till like two thousand nine or ten. I was like seven or eight, so. But that was around the time I started trying to finish games, and I was like eight years old. So if I put it down, I probably really wasn't enjoying it at one point or another. So we'll put we'll put it there. Uh, Phantom Hourglass. I do own this. I've played the multiplayer. I've never touched the campaign. I don't think. Mm, maybe I have. You know, I think I've gotten into it. Where where are you, Phantom Hourglass? There you are. It's the se- direct sequel to Wind Waker, so that's cool. It's playing as the same Link. I know not a lot of people like it. I remember really enjoying playing the multiplayer with my brother, so my memories are of it being great. <laughs> but I really don't have much to say about it. Other than that, I like the bad guy. Like, it's a different villain. Obviously, you can't fight Ganon again with this Link. But uh, I do wish more char- you would have met more characters from Wind Waker. Such as Medley or Makar. Maybe you do, but I don't think you do. I think it's just you and this dude. What's his name? His name's Captain Beckworth, something like that. Heard he ever he's a loved character. Would love for him to make a full sequel to Wind Waker. And I guess a sequel to this, but that probably will never happen. But it's okay. Uh, Spirit Tracks. I have played it before on my friend's DS. I'm going I'm going to put it in never played. <coughs> uh, sorry. Um, it is it is kind of a sequel to this one, but it's like a hundred years later. All I know is um, what was his name? Mido, not Mido. That's the dude in Ocarina of Time. The dude who uh, call, keeps calling you Swabby and Wind Waker. I know that he's in it, and he's an old man, and he's they call him your uncle. So I assume or your grandpa, something like that. Or maybe great uncle, so I assume he somehow is your this this one's actually related to this link, which is very rare for Zelda games, but uh I don't know. Or sorry, this one's related to this one slash this one. But yeah, I don't know. Uh that's all I have to say about that one. Ocarina of Time 3D. And here's an interesting one. This might be the only one that I'm gonna put up in legendary, okay? with its counterpart just because i enjoyed both of them so equally this one improves on a lot of things but also i mean if you make the same recipe over and over again is it really that much better you know what i'm saying because it improves on a lot of things but not to the degree that like the hd version of uh wind waker and twilight princess do to their original so if the other one's legendary and this one's just slightly better, then they both have to be legendary in my opinion. But uh, one of my favorite things about the 3DS versions is aiming the bow with the motion controls or any of the things with the motion controls, like for some of the mini games and stuff, it's so easy. It's so easy. Like I don't think I've ever been able to successfully complete the shooting range in uh, the N64 version of uh, Majora's Mask, but once I did it on the 3DS version, I mean, like, second or third try. So, yeah, I love I love the 3DS version. I go back. I like it. I think it's cool that you unlock Master Mode after you beat it. I've not gotten very far in Master Mode because the puzzles are completely different, but hopefully one day I'll be able to do that. Skyward Sword. And this one's weird. I've played. I'm not going to put it in Never Play because I got a little far in it, but I played a lot of this on my friend's Wii. Okay. And I remember in liking it, but I thought it was really weird. I thought it was really weird. The motion controls, I didn't like them as much as uh, Twilight Prince's motion controls for the Wii. Um, I like the visuals, which I know some people don't like. I know that it's not the most beloved Zelda game, but I thought it was cool, but it really wasn't my thing. I'll get into more detail on that one, because that's the most recent Zelda game I've beat... Uh, that I've never played before is the HD version on my Switch. Um, let's see. That was a great year for Zelda, the Skyward Sword, Ocarina of Time 3D, Wind Waker HD. Now, here's where we're going to go into a spiel. It's legendary for me. Might be my number one game of all time. 
I mean, it's just, it's just perfect in every way. It it, it makes me, it upsets me at some points. Like y'all saw the Phantom Ganon fight, but every time I think back, I still look fondly because you know what? I still beat it and I still kick Ganon's ass. So does it really matter? Has some of my favorite character designs, some of my favorite characters. I love how innocent and sweet it looks, but it definitely has some darker undertones under it. But definitely a more light-hearted Zelda game, even though it's still in it. It has some of my favorite boss fights. No real difficult boss fights. Uh, it has one of my... It might have my favorite Ganon boss fight. I love the way you st stab the sword through. Said I, I'd say that's my second favorite Ganon boss fight. I'd tie it with uh, Calamity Ganon's boss fight. But uh, favorite, we'll get to that. Quite soon, actually. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's just, it, it looks so good, too. One of the best things is just how well they did the remaster on, like, the Twilight Princess remaster is awesome, but you, uh, and it looks really good compared to the original, but it's not so much better, you know what I'm saying? Like, the thing for me about the Twilight Princess remaster is just the controls, being able to play on the Wii, and I know the Wii U oh sucks, but I love the Wii U for just for these two games. But uh, I yeah, I mean, great plot, and they, the the additions they add, there's so much like comfort, like ease of comfort stuff like that, or what is it called, comfort of life, something like that. I don't I don't know I don't know my terms, but like the swift sail and stuff like that, just immaculate. Uh then all right so yeah that's all i have to say about my favorite game uh let's see what next we've got link between worlds own it never played it i've heard it's a wonderful game uh excited to play it still haven't played it majora's mask 3d to me this is one also a legendary for me now like this isn't like a definitive tier list for what I, the populace could think this is for my personal tier list okay I think it's, uh, I think it's, it just improved so much. I know some people don't like that they, all oh, they doled it down too much. Like, they made some of the boss fights too easy. You know what? I say to you, I say to you, you shut up, okay? I still had struggled with the water dungeon fight in this game. Not as much as this one, okay? But, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, it's easier. But it also, it has that new look that looks so good. I mean, it, it, they switch it up around. It's almost its own game where it's almost just like, it feels like, like when they do like a Final Fantasy remake or like a Resident Evil remake, like, you know, it's the same game, but it's, it looks so different. And like, they, they layered things so different that it's almost its own thing. Well, it really is its own thing. But yeah, I mean, just, just a wonderful game. Uh, also in 2015, Triforce Heroes, same thing. Never played it before. I know it's a sequel to this one. Even though it has like Toon Link style, but I know it's a direct sequel to this one. I've heard it's fun, not as fun as this one. Um, yeah, can't say much about something I haven't played. I should have played more of these games before I got here. Uh, but that's okay. And then Twilight Princess HD. Now, this one for me. This one for me. I'm going to put it... I really did enjoy it, but I just, I don't think about it. I kind of put it in amazing. I just don't think about it as much as I do about Ocarina of Time or uh, Wind Waker. Okay. It's like really fun. It has my favorite Ganon boss fight. I love how dark it is. I like how they, they, cause like one of my things about that I didn't like as much, and I know it, it added to the mood and it was like a real 2000 thing to do but this one had like really dull colors okay they brightened it up just enough to the, get it to the perfect level in this game that it really tickled my fancy so I would put that one right there but yeah the Ganon fight at the end is incredible and I really like the bunch of the character designs like uh what's the name of the girl that collects bugs Agatha super cute design um I really like the brunette Zelda uh Definitely the most like somber looking Zelda, but still a great design. Ganon's design is awesome. He definitely looks like he, it does. It looks like a game that 
could be in this universe, which it really is. It goes down this timeline from here to here to here. It's really sad, though. As we were talking about, one of the things that kind of leaves a bitter taste in my mouth, and I think it's a cool ending, but it's still sad, is that you never find Navi. We don't really know if you find Navi or not. But all I do know is that this he, the, the hero from Ocarina of Time, the hero of time is dead. And he teaches you moves and he talks about how he feels, how his life was never fulfilled. He died as a soldier, so I can't assume that, you know, he got in it with Zelda or anything like that, you know. But that's life sometimes, man. Sometimes we got sad. Sometimes we got sadness. Uh, but yeah, wonderful game. Some really cool boss fights and some really cool items you get in this game. Like that little gear thing that you use to ride around walls and stuff. The double hook shots. Really cool. And yeah, some of the boss fights. Like you fight the dragon up in the sky. That's a cool one. The big uh, mummy thing that you fight in the sand pit. Or I, I'm not mummy. Hey, is it a mummy? I can't remember if it's a mummy or like a skeleton thing. Is that the same boss fight where it skull detaches and like chases you around? You have to use the gear to rock right up the side. I can't remember. Fun bosses though. The first boss fight is surprisingly more difficult than other first boss fights in that forest temple. Uh, I can't remember the the water boss fight. I remember being fun though. I do remember the fire boss fight. It was cool. But yeah, the ice temple is really cool. I love that when you're in that big monsters. Uh, freaking mansion that big white they're they're super nice but she's got a disease or something she's got or she's got a but she's possessed by the soul of ganon or i can't remember she found like an orb or something it's been it's been like two years since i beat this game okay lay off on me but yeah love it now okay and the breath of the wild easily legendary probably my third favorite zelda game of all time probably goes for me wind waker hd ocarina of time Breath of the Wild, love the story, love, it's it's my favorite Zelda game just to come back to and just play, because you can do so much outside, because there's no direct quest, it just makes it so awesome, and it, it has some of the, none of the boss fights, I mean, I guess Electric or Thunderblight Ganon's the hardest, but I mean, I beat him on the channel, I didn't die, I don't think, I know I had to eat some food during that fight, I think, but not none of the super hardest boss fights but maybe that's only because I've never tried to take them on with limited gear. But, and obviously I get help from my amiibos, but we're not going to talk about that. But, I mean, the story for me, it's first pretty in like not super dark of a game. It definitely, in my opinion, has the darkest plot. All of your friends and everyone you know are dead except for some of the people that are a races of species that can live for like a thousand years, like Prince Sidon and stuff. It's the first game that really, sh eh, I guess Skyward Sword shows that you have a relationship with a girl, but it's the first game that shows that you have a relationship or you definitely had a relationship with a girl and now she's dead too. Okay. I mean, I was depressed too. Uh, but it may, it makes the fight like the Ganon fight. I said I probably tie the Ganon fight with this one and this one. Clammed again is a really fun boss fight, but I just love love the energy of the fight. I love going down there and ha I, like I said, the way Link unsheaths his sword and he he just does the little flick of the wrist and it turns blue. It starts glowing blue. You know, he's ready. He understands. He's got all the memory. Well, I guess all the memories back. I always assume that once once you if you get all the memories, Link got his full memory back, but. I don't think everyone holds that opinion, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, wonderful boss fight, great story. I'm so excited for the sequel. I'll play that on the channel the day it comes out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just awesome, awesome stuff. Now, after this, I know it's Link's Awakening. Uh, I would put this one, for me, an amazing. I really enjoyed it. It has one of my favorite styles I've ever done. Link's Awakening is just kind of a wacky game. Another game, though, as sweet as it is, it has a really sad... All these people aren't real. They're just in a dream. But, you know, that's life. But also, I do... There is a comforting thought, though. There's the... Uh, there's a theory that... Uh, all the characters are, like, embodiments... Of people that Link knows in his real life. <clears throat> Sorry. Cracking up is making me so sad. Like, uh, what's your name... Marin, 
because Malin's Marin is in this game. He thinks it's Zelda at first, which makes me think that she's like just like all the good that's in Zelda. Not that there's much bad in Zelda, but she looks a lot like Zelda. So Link, all the people here, it's people that Link still really does know in his real life, but they're just uh, his good like visions of them that he sees in his mind. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, really fun game. Love the style. Cool dungeons. One of the best soundtracks in any Zelda game. I love the like techno music almost. But yeah. Skyward Sword HD. Uh, where does... That came out after. So next... Oh, I don't even know where to put Hyrule Warriors. The first one. I forgot that I even put this one on here. Um... Uh, I'll put... I really have liked Hyrule Warriors. I love that they brought back a bunch of characters to play as from other games. Like, you can play as Medley. You can play as Toon Zelda, Toon Link, Skull Kid with Majora's Mask. It has a lot of good, like, normal characters. I like Link's design in it. Zelda's design. Uh, Linkle. I think this is the first appearance of Linkle. Uh, you can play as Midna, I guess. I can see that right there. That's pretty cool. You can play as uh, Princess Ruta. So, but yeah, it's a really, really fun just hack and slash game. I'm not, I'm going to put it at great though. It doesn't like, it's not the most wonderful thing I've ever played. Um, I definitely enjoyed Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity more, which we'll get to that next because that's the next game. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just a fun time. I love that they did a Switch re release for it. Uh, that's the first time I experienced it. Uh, I think I've beaten it. I might not have beaten it. I can't remember because it's been a while since I've bought it and played it, but <clears throat> really fun. I like that you could take, if you play Age of Calamity, you can either choose to use more Breath of the Wild Star controls or you can use the controls direct from this game, which uh, I think is the controls I use because if you're going to play Hyrule Warriors, why not play it the way it was intended? And I know it's like a, isn't it a, it's a collaboration between a, uh, another game series right and this one anyway fun game not too much more to say about though just love the character selections and just i love hack and slash games like that so there you go now i high rewards edge clemmy i'm gonna put that one up at amazing okay i really enjoy it more one reason the game mode i mean it's it's really the same gameplay but since it's in the breath of the wild universe it makes it better but the story because at first when i first played it, i had no idea that it was supposed to be it, it would be like an alternate timeline because i was like gonna be a little bit sad I was like man i don't want to see these characters i'm already really sad that they died in the other game i don't want to see them actually die because i heard rumors that you see how they die but then uh-oh they're the other champ they're the modern champions that you fight with in breath of the wild like a sidon other rock dude other bird dude and other Gerudo girl they come and help their ancestor and I don't actually I don't think really think they're related but and it, it, it it's literally in my I, I know they just made it because so many people were distraught with how sad it is but you know what this game now I don't really get into fan fiction but for all those who do this game is what you need to continue your love between man and fish okay that that's I mean that's the golden that's the golden ticket right there. When when you read or when you talk in the Sidon when he's standing in front of the statue in Breath of the Wild, he talks about I know that you'd probably be husband or you'd probably be my brother one day. I mean you can make that come true now. So there you go. Uh, really fun. Uh, I love how especially one of the things I love about it is how long it is. Okay, it's a long game. It takes a while to beat it, and then you can still just keep playing after. And I haven't even bought the DLC for it yet. I've only played the normal game. All the characters have really fun, uh, completely different fighting styles. I still, I almost always play as Link, though. I don't know why. I just like his fighting style in the game. He just, he kicks so much ass in that game. But there's other good ones, too. Like, uh, I really like Zelda's and uh, Impa. I've, everyone's or a lot of people say Impa has the best fighting style. I don't know if that's true, but she, she's definitely. If I'm not playing as Link, I'm probably playing as her. But then I like you can choose allies. Like you can choose who you want to go into battle with. Like I went with into battle with Daruk and uh, Mifa a lot. So it's just, it's just a fun game. 
And now Skyward Sword HD. I have beat this. My the most recent Zelda game I've beat. And it's kind of like the same case as uh, Twilight Princess HD. I just don't think about it as much as these, but I also really had a lot of fun with it. I love the uh, love interests of Zelda and Link. I love that it really does feel like it could be the first game in the entire series. It feels just pr not primitive in a bad way, but like the designs and stuff just feel primitive. Like it's the first time. I love V. Fee. I said V. Fee. I love the way that you build the Master Sword up. I got the Hylian Shield. It's not that bad. You just have to fight the bosses over and over again without dying. Okay. It's easy to get heart containers in it. Eh, well, actually, I wouldn't actually say that. I don't even think I got all the heart containers, but it's not the hardest Zelda game until you get to the end, okay? I always made fun of uh, Aaron from the Game Grumps because they had to do, like, two, like, three-hour episodes of him trying to beat, uh, I I keep saying Ganon, but it, it, it's the, it's the, the first incarnation, the Demon King, whatever his name is, uh, he's a hard boss fight. He's not an easy boss fight. I like, I really like Girahim. He's a great villain. His boss fight's not the easiest too right at the end. His first two are all right. They're not too bad. But, you know, I didn't enjoy using the Wii remote to swack around. And I didn't enjoy using the Joy-Cons. But you know what? They added a new way to fight. And that's using the freaking uh, right joystick to swing the sword around. And I thought at first I thought it was really weird, but then I really started to enjoy using the joystick to move the sword around. You really got a lot of a, a large range of motion. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it with that, that's the new tier list. Tears of the kingdom. will probably go in here somewhere. I don't know if I'll update this list because they release a Zelda game like once every eon. So next time we get maybe, this many games I'll probably be in my late 30s but uh that's okay but yeah I mean nothing else more to say uh I hope y'all enjoyed this video something different something new I think I want to do another one of these tiers but something for something completely different okay not a video game series my favorite fictional character now you might think oh it's Link but it's not I've stated this many times Zelda is my second favorite franchise Okay, it's my favorite video game franchise, but my favorite franchise is Transformers, okay? I want to do a tier list set of all of Optimus Prime's main designs, okay? I think that one would be really cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure and hit that like button. If you really liked it, be sure and hit that subscribe button. You can find my Instagram down in the description below. And with that, have a good day.